First, let's get started with the new numbers released just this afternoon. For the first time since the crisis began, the state is reporting more than 1,000 new cases in a 24-hour period. And since yesterday, 52 more people have died, including a person in Kalamazoo County. That brings the total numbers in Michigan to nearly 6,500 people infected and 184 deaths. In West Michigan, there are 96 cases in Kent County and no new deaths. The death of a 70-year-old man was previously reported. In Muskegon County, there are now 17 positive cases. Two men, one 78 years old, the other 83 years old, died last week. And in Ottawa County, there are 28 reported cases. This morning, before the new numbers were released, Governor Gretchen Whitmer encouraged all Michiganders to take a moment to remember those who died. I think it's important to pause for a minute and remember that each of these 132 Michiganders who've lost their lives had stories and families and friends and loved ones, people that we need to think about the real loss as we are combating a pandemic that is hurting our state and our people. We can't lose sight of that. Here are three other important updates from the governor. First, she updated efforts to secure more equipment and protective gear for medical workers across our state. She says some progress has been made, but more still needs to be done. She also signed an executive order suspending state hiring and promotions and vetoed $80 million in new spending. Instead, the money will be used to fight the coronavirus. The governor also expanded the eligibility for who qualifies for unemployment.